All right, guys. I don't mean to be overly dramatic, but my worst nightmare has come come true. And I'm going to let you do it with me. One of the things that I've all, always feared about having the worm bins in the basement is coming down here and seeing that something has been digging in my worm bin. Now it's getting to be that time of year where it's harvest time. And so this is the time of year that we will see mice in the house. So I'm going to put the camera down in case there is a mouse here when I flip over this bubble wrap because I don't want to throw my camera. So I'm going to get a stick and I'm going to pick up the bubble wrap and um, you may or may not want to pull your ear away from the camera. Nope, you know what I mean. So I've got my metal stick. And so far, there's nobody in here but worms. But we're going to poke around a little bit with a long stick. Sorry, wormies. Mommy still loves you. But um, I didn't leave a big dang hole in the side of the bin. And so, uh, until I'm absolutely sure there's nothing in here but worms. I'm not squirmish about getting my hands dirty or putting my hands in goo, but by God, don't give me mice. I don't like being surprised. You know, I don't mind mice, but I don't want to be surprised by anything. Yeah. All right, so let's back you up over here and see. I don't know why there would be a mouse. I mean, if mice eat worms, I'm not sure. really the only thing that could be in here. So there we go. I've, I think I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure there's only worms in here now. So I'm going to go grab some food and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I made my husband come down here to uh, be my bodyguard. Didn't know that worm farmers needed bodyguards, but here we are. Gonna bring the camera over here so we can see what we're doing. Certainly looks like we've got a decent worm ball, so that's good. Those are all right there, so that'll work. Looks like I still got an orange in there. But I'm gonna make a hollow here and put some new food in. It's a good size worm. All right, so whatever's in the basement is gonna get a combination of cabbage and tomatoes, and I'm not sure there's gonna be any way to hide the smell of this because this is pungent for sure. So I'm going to do the best I can to cover it up with castings and if nobody minds appealing to their omnipresent being that whatever it is doesn't come back or stays hidden better than it did this last time. So we're going to turn around over here, look at the castings here, see if we're making any progress. It does seem to be drying out some, so that's good. But there does not seem to be any less worms going on. So I don't know if whatever was in here was after the worm food or the worms. 
Um, up to this point today, I haven't run across anything. Normally, if it's mice, you'll see droppings. But I did not see any of that. So, good riddance. Just a quick update today. Uh, came down here, wasn't planning on doing an update on this bin, but uh, I saw something weird and I thought I should bring you guys with me. All right, we'll turn back around. We'll cover them up with their bubble wrap. Maybe a little bit more bubble wrap than usual this time to keep any unwanted visitors from peeking around. All right, guys. Well, a little bit of drama today. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a great day.